and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The Word of God that I've chosen to share with you this morning is taken from the Gospel reading that Pastor Welmer just shared with you. I share with you today at verse 11. Jesus says, I pray that they may be one even as we are one. This is the Word of God before us this morning. Please be seated. A guest pastor was getting ready to preach a sermon in a Christian church. He looked out at the congregation he was getting ready to preach and he noticed that all the men in the congregation were wearing guns. Well, the pastor was able to make it through the sermon all right and after he was finished, he noticed that several of the men got up and started walking toward him holding their guns. Well, the pastor became rather nervous and one of the elders immediately stood up and said, oh, don't worry, pastor, they're not coming after you, they're looking for the person who invited you to preach here. <laughs> Ouch, right? Ouch. Well, we know, we know that we live in a tough world today. And we also know that there are many people that have guns today, guns to protect them from criminals and thieves, guns to protect them. Well. Jesus today in the Word of God before us is also talking about protection. He's not talking about guns, but Jesus is talking about protection for his followers, for believers like you and me. And Jesus mentions three important things to us today. First of all, Jesus prays for the protection of his followers. You know, after Jesus rose from the dead, after Jesus ascended into heaven, he left his followers living in a pretty dangerous world, didn't he? His followers were living in a world where they could be killed just for talking about Jesus. Now, we are so thankful today that even though we're living in a tough world, we don't have to worry about somebody walking into Messiah Lutheran Church today and killing us because we're talking about Jesus. But it is a tough world. And there are places in our world, places in the Middle East, places in Africa, where people today are still being killed for talking about Jesus. It's a dangerous world we're living in here today, isn't it? And that's why Jesus today is praying for the protection of his followers. And that includes you and me. Today, Jesus is praying for you and me. We're his followers, and he prays that will be protected. Now, Jesus is not praying here that nothing painful will ever come into our lives. No, because of sin in this world, we know that there are going to be times of pain and trouble in our lives. Jesus is actually praying here for the unity of his followers. Jesus knows that there is strength in unity. When you have family, and friends and fellow members of your church in whom you can turn to when you're in trouble, you can withstand any pain or any trouble that might come your way. The Christian church is at its best when its fellow Christians feel love and feel care from one another. And that's why we do what we do for our fellow members when they are going through times of pain or trouble. We have members here who have surgeries when their health goes bad. We have members here who lose their jobs. We have members here who have family problems. And so what do we do? Well, we pray for them. We bring meals to them. We offer to drive them to the doctor to help them. We offer counseling to help them. We care about one another. And that's the protection we feel here in our church, don't we? We have a circle of trust here. We pray for one another. We make it a safe place for us to come together each week. We know that all kinds of pain and troubles are going to come onto our lives. And we need to continue to be there 
for one another. That's the kind of protection that Jesus is praying for us here today. Secondly, Jesus prays for the preservation of his followers. Jesus prayed years ago that his followers would never, never fall away from him. That they'd stay faithful to him and when they left this earth, they'd be with him in heaven. Today, as followers of Jesus, that's what Jesus prays for you and me. Jesus is praying that we will hang in there through the difficulties of this world. That we'll stay faithful to him, that none of us will be lost. That's the prayer of Jesus for us today. And Jesus provides us with the help we need. Jesus says in the Bible, in the book of Psalms, God will give his angels charge over you to protect you in all your ways. God gives his angels to protect us. There was a grandmother who was getting ready for a very serious surgery. And as she was reading about all the things that could go wrong with her surgery, she was getting rather anxious. Her little granddaughter looked up at her and said, Grandma, don't worry. God promises to send his angels to look over you. God's angels will protect you. This little girl was right, wasn't she? God does send his angels to protect us. God does send his angels to preserve us from falling away from him. We too can count on God to take care of us. And then thirdly, Jesus prays for the perseverance of his followers. Jesus prays that his followers will never stop telling people about Jesus. Jesus prays that his followers will never stop telling people that Jesus died on a cross to forgive their sins and that Jesus then rose from the dead to overcome death for them so that they could have eternal life with him in heaven. Jesus prayed for his followers years ago to never stop telling people this wonderful news. And I'm so thankful they never stopped, aren't you? I'm so thankful that we have parents and grandparents and great-grandparents who never stop telling us about Jesus. Because that's why we are Christians here today, aren't we? Somebody special told us about Jesus. And now our job is to tell others about Jesus too. God is counting on you and me. Yes, we live in a world filled with sin and pain and troubles. And we need to tell people today where they can find hope, where they can find an answer to all those troubles. We need to help people today to find a real purpose for living here on this earth. Have you ever been to a greyhound dog race? Well, in a greyhound dog race, they don't use jockeys like they do in horse racing, you know, like in the Kentucky Derby that was run year, yesterday. No, what they have is they have this mechanical rabbit on a track. And the mechanical rabbit runs ahead of the greyhounds. And the greyhounds run after this mechanical rabbit till they get to the finish line. Well, one time there was the greyhound race going on. And the greyhounds are running after this mechanical rabbit. And an electrical short happened. And the mechanical rabbit caught on fire and exploded. Well, the greyhounds didn't know what to do. They all stopped. Some of them started howling. They were all confused. Not a one of them finished the race. I think sometimes we have people that are like these greyhounds. They're going through the motions of life. They're confused. They're not sure where at all they're going. And that's why you and I are here, aren't we? That's why God put us here. We are here to tell them about Jesus. We're here to share the light and the love of Jesus with others. That's really the mission of our church here at Messiah, isn't it? Did you look at the front of the bulletin today? Did you look at the church sign as you drove in today? Did you walk by the gym today and look on the floor? Everywhere you go here at Messiah, we make it very clear what we're all about. We are here to share the light of Jesus with other people. We're here to make sure everyone around us knows about Jesus. And today, Jesus is praying that we will persevere in this wonderful mission of telling others about Jesus.
today. Jesus is praying for you and for me. Oh, I know he, pray, he was praying in the Bible for his followers, but we're his followers. And today, Jesus is praying for us. He's praying that we will stay together and love and care for one another. Jesus is praying that we will keep our faith in him. And Jesus is praying that we'll never stop telling others about him. Receive this prayer into your own heart today. Let God use you to make a real difference here in this difficult world. God bless you. Amen.